Like almost everybody, I was interested in dinosaurs as a kid. I have done a variety of dinosaur research that includes going to dig dinosaurs up out in the field, but mostly my scientific contribution to dinosaurs are in areas where you can apply computing and statistics and math. So dinosaurs were really big. <laughs> and the question of how they get big drives this notion of understanding their growth. We don't have that many data points. T-Rex, for example, is only known from about 30 specimens. So we've developed new statistical methods for analyzing dinosaur data. This is a growth rate curve for a T-Rex. While I started studying these dinosaur growth rates, I discovered that, in fact, a lot of papers had used the wrong methods, and that led them to erroneous conclusions. I sent my paper to Trevor Mundell at the Gates Foundation, and Trevor said, why don't you do this for kids? There's a number of factors that make the problem of human growth, particularly in developing countries, difficult. The first is a basic data problem. If you get something like this wrong, it could result in hurting millions of children. A lot of the ways in which the world makes decisions are constrained by the information and the knowledge it has. Dinosaur growth, as crazy as it sounds, does give you important insights which at both the policy level and hopefully eventually at the individual level are going to help us do a better job of treating malnourished kids.